Oh yeah, and we're on. Oh, we're on. Just out on these flats. Yes, so as the tide's rising up towards these flats, you can see where it's going in these slightly deeper drains, channels up there. So we're just fishing at the sort of a bit of a bit of a little bay in front of these drains where the fish will sort of come up with the tide. So Josh has just dropped a nice fish there. So we'll just get it back out there. Just a few little hops. And you can see now with the sun that when that grey is on the bottom, when that lure is on the bottom, the grey slack now it's shallow water here now too so not move that door sort of sideways just feeling for any little flicks or little thing basically the fish closing its mouth on the lure and if you've got a cork butt that's transferred through the braid the graphite rod and you'll feel that in the cork butt much better than a foam butt. So generally for this plastics fishing, I'd like to leave that drop there about 60 centimeters or so to try to maximize distance. And just a matter of thinking over the shoulder. Now the wind's coming in towards me too. So if you're casting out directly into it, you're gonna minimize your cast. Now here I wanna sort of target this slightly deeper water here. So I'm gonna cast across that wind a bit and even out into it so the wind is pushing it and giving it that bit of extra distance so you know I'm getting it up in that wind and it's carried that further so flick that bail arm over take up the slack the advantage of the braid line you can see what your line's doing a couple of different techniques so if, uh, just using the wrist I, I wait till it's gone tight on the bottom a couple of like three flicks of the wrist up three or four just like that and taking up the slack and letting it drop sit sometimes I'll take it when it's actually sit so that's one technique the other some very slowly shallow water is actually bring it along sideways like that again it's almost like little steps so back of the wrist and pausing and again don't forget to throw in those pauses try it out sometimes slow it down too cooler water can sometimes slow the fish down so you can try some slower lifts and drops and like that Josh is on over here boy I think he's he's dropped it there we go so Josh had a hit and then I hooked up so, oh yeah Oh yeah, this one, that's a noise I like to hear. Down on the flats as the tide's rising. Oh, it feels a bit more weight to this one. It's going over here, I think, but. Yeah. You see? No, I can't. Oh. 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 I might even just, oh, it's a brim. It's a brim boat. Get the net under him anyway. That's a solid brim. And that's why we might have had those couple of hooks up at once. There we go. There he is, there's a brim and you can see they still take, that's a good solid brim. Still take reasonable size laws. That's look at that beautiful colours in him. Yeah. We'll uh, get that out and uh, let him go. There we go. He's a really healthy brim. Look at the size of him and those beautiful colours. So he's really engulfed. That plastic. Lovely, lovely fish. We'll let him go. Now let's see what we got here. Oh, oh it's a little flatty. Hold him there, he's just settle him on the bottom. Hopefully he won't take off. Thanks mate, alright. He's just out here. Oh there he goes. Just out on these flats. I'll bring him over to you. I'll try to keep his head under the water mate. And just on the little Locks rod, four pound braid, and we've got about 10 pound leader. I'll just try to lead him over to you, mate. Keep his head under the water. There you go. 
go. Oh, and there we go. That's a dusky. That's a dusky. Good stuff.